everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, before we get this video going, I want to do it. I want to give you guys an uh, update on what's been going on with live streaming. Guys, I'm working on a project because I'm off on Mondays and Thursdays, guys. And those are the days I live stream at 12 noon on Mondays and Thursdays. But those are the times since I'm off, I'm working on this project, guys. And I will eventually share the project, project with you, whether it goes good or whether it doesn't go good. But those are the days I'm really working on it, guys, so uh, I can't live stream on those days. So it's probably going to be another two weeks, two weeks before I can live stream again. I hope my lip ain't bleeding. All, I'm always biting my lips. Anyway, but what I, instead of waiting two weeks to show you guys things with the franchise, guys, we, we're going to start season two right now. We just finished the preseason, if you, didn't, if you haven't seen those live streams. We're going to start with week number one, but before we do that, I want to I want to make some adjustments. Let me go to the depth chart real quick. I'm going to make some adjustments that I think may help us. Uh, well, let, I mean, let's go to the depth chart. I'm sorry. Boom. All right. There's the depth chart. All right. All right. How you guys doing, man? How you doing? We're going to go to the wide receiver spot. And what I want to focus on is our number five wide receiver, Dilling Downey. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's 5'10", 170 pounds, as you see on the screen, from Grand Valley State. No no major college, but guys, he's a rookie. We just drafted him in the NFL draft, but he's an overall 68, guys. Nothing spectacular. He's a rookie. He's got to get better. His numbers will increase as he learns the system, get some experience, do all that stuff. But he's our number five wide receiver. So he'll get a little playing time when we go five wide. Now, what I want to focus on, the change I want to make, baby, is one, his speed is a 97. Do y'all hear me? His speed is a 97. That's faster than Antonio Brown. That's faster than all the receivers in the NFL. I haven't seen no receiver higher than 97. It doesn't matter. 97 is a good speed. 97, guys, we cannot leave this guy on the sideline. We cannot leave this guy on the sideline. Look at that 92 acceleration, guys. Look at it. Now, look at the spectacular catch. It's an 80. With this game this year where you can, you, a ball get knocked out so much, spectacular catching, guys. That's what we need. I got to get this guy on the field. Not that say I'm going to put him up in the depth chart and make him a star or anything. I'm going to put him in certain formations. When he comes in in certain formations where we need that speed and, and long distance like third downs and stuff like that. Okay? But I look at his catch. His catch is only 74. His catch in traffic is only 72. Okay? Because he's a rookie, guys. He's a rookie. But that spectacular catch, man. That's what we need, guys. And if he can catch, make those spectacular catches, we got to get him on the field, guys. With this 97 speed, 92 acceleration, he can get some separation, guys. Okay, now, that's Dylan Downey, guys, number 89, all right? Now, we're going to go to my coach. Okay, I don't know, most people haven't seen this, um, but we're going to go to formation subs, guys. Formation subs, because I want to put Dylan Downey in certain formations where we can take advantage of of his speed and give him get, get him some playing time okay i did my homework ahead of time i know what plays i want to put him in what formations i want to put him in um, also i'm going to talk about some improvements that madden can make as far as uh uh this these are uh, uh, uh formation subs right okay i'm going to the shotgun now bunch offset is one of the plays i want to put but you can't put him in certain plays if he goes in a formation, he has to stay in that formation the whole game. I wish you could use only certain plays in the bunch offset. Okay, the shotgun bunch offset. I wish you could use the certain plays you want him in, but you can only put him in that formation. If he's in that formation, he has to run all the plays in that formation. So I wish they break it down a little bit better. And the second improvement I would like to see, you can see the play up at the top of the screen. Right at the bottom where it says shotgun bunch offset, show us the play art. Because sometimes we get confused on, on exactly what position he's in in that formation. 
or you know whether he's a primary receiver or not. So there's no play art right there. So I would love to see some play art in that formation. That's another another two improvement they can do with formation subs. Okay, now we're gonna go to that position, which is I, I know the play is called Z spot in and go. It's a C, a C spot um, position. So we're gonna go right here. Um, Josh Dotson is in that position right now. So we're gonna click off. We're gonna go to Dylan Downey and put him in that spot now. See, see where the blue is on the on the right hand side, the outside receiver. He will be on that spot now, Dylan Downey. Now that's a C route. It's a C route, so he's going to get open a lot quicker with that speed and acceleration, okay? Now, the next play formation I want to put him in is doubles wide off wheel. Okay, doubles wide off wheel, okay? And this is a four verticals play. And right now, let's see. Uh, Jamison Crowder is in that spot. Now, if you look at the screen, Jamison Crowder's speed is a 91, okay? And Jamison Crowder gets open on this four vertical play right here. And this doubles wide off week. He gets open, guys. He gets open 90% of the time. Now, sometimes he doesn't get that separation, but most of the time he does. And his speed is a 91. We're going to put Mr. Dylan Downey in there, guys. Speed 97. We're going to try to create mismatches with this guy. I got to get him on the field with that 97 speed, guys. We got to create mismatches, okay? Now, the next formation I want to put him in, let's see. It is um, Flips Trips. Flips Trips Eagle. Okay? Now, I'm trying to think where he was on the field. Um, I think it was a left outside wide receiver opposite the halfback. Let's see. Yeah, so it would be over here. Okay, Ryan Quick is in that position right there. This is a big money play right here. Now, I hate that word money play. I'm sorry, I don't mean to use that. But this is a play we get big yards on, on third down. And second and longs, third and longs. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to take Ryan Quick out of there. Wait, wait a minute, let's go back. Ryan Quick's speed is an 87. 87. Sometimes you get open. It's, if we run this play 10 times, and, and I like to go to that Ryan Quick on this play, 50%, 50% depends on the safety, depends on the corner, depends on the type of defense that's being ran. But I'm saying 50%, but man, we get the speed in here. We get Mr. Dylan Downey with that 97 speed. Man, I don't think y'all know what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to create mismatches up in here, Washington. Dylan Downey, guys, a rookie. We got to take advantage of the speed, man. I don't know how many times I got to tip that with y'all man okay the next formation we want to put him in let's see spread wide slot me spread wide slot me okay and this is a, a, a PA bubble wide over okay is it he's in a slot opposite the halfback okay so looks like Jameson Crowder is in that spot right now yeah right there Jameson Crowder is in that spot right now okay that's a big play too, man. We're gonna put Mr. Dylan Downey in that position, baby. So every time we run this play, this formation, he's gonna be up right there on that on this play. Every time we run a spread wide slot week, he's gonna be right there in the inside slot on the left side. Or if we flip it on the right side, whatever. He's gonna be the slot guy. And the slot guy is normally on a linebacker. Well, you figure four wide receivers, he it'd be some extra corners in there. But if you get matched up on the linebacker, forget it. We're trying to create mismatches up in here, up in here. Okay? All right, guys. I, that's the last formation we're going to put them in. I just wanted to show you guys the changes I was going to make, guys, and that I made. We got to get Mr. Dylan Downey on the field, guys. We got to get him on the field. And I want you guys to stay tuned because the next video, baby, is going to be us game one, season two, going up against these Jacksonville Jaguars at home. All right, at FedEx Field, baby. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, man, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, I'm talking to you. Hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. Hey, man, and we can do it together. We can do it together. Remember, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. 
join the team on Hollywood Sports and let's have fun together, guys. We got to have fun. And as always, until next time, everybody, hopefully I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Game one is coming up.